What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today what I got for you guys is the first installment on series here on the channel and it is going to be top 5 maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now that the life cycle is over, or almost over for Black Ops 3 and we're going to be heading into the new life cycle of Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, I thought it was time that we go back and look at my top 5 maps that are non-DLC maps from Black Ops 3. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so to start off with five, it's going to be Stronghold. And I was toying between Stronghold and Infection at this spot, between four and five. But I decided to put um, Stronghold here because of the bomb placement. And the flag placements for uh, search and destroy and domination because those are the two most objective based game modes that I play um, I really like the the flag placements in the other maps that will be on this list um, but domination or for for search and destroy I don't like the placement of the uh, of the bombs but for like TDM free-for-all you know Hardpoint, other game modes like that. This is going to be a really good map. Um, I really like um, Stronghold, and that's why it's going to uh, come in at number five. And coming in at number four is going to be Infection. Infection is a really good map for uh, for Search and Destroy and the just the objective based modes. The my opinions are going to be based off of the game modes that I play. So this is uh, mainly going to be talking about Infect or Search and Destroy, TDM, and Domination. I love where the flags are placed in Infection, um, the B flag right in the middle where the little uh, fountain is. I love where that's at because you can actually take cover there and still cap the flag. Um, and then you also have the the placement of the bombs that are um, really well. I like the the bombs being by the barn and by in the uh, that little house in the middle of the map. Um, but overall, this is a really, really good map for Search and Destroy and domination and that's why it's coming in at my number four spot and coming in at the number three spot is going to be redwood redwood is a really good map for um for a bunch of different game modes um it's really good for tdm because it's a smaller map uh smaller to medium size map um there's not much ground you have to cover so that you can be um getting into more gunfights and having just a better overall experience with tdm i like it for search and destroy because the bombs are placed um you know they're a little bit more spread out than Infection and um, some of the other maps, um, but there's the one thing I don't like. It's a little clustered with the trees. I do love the trees, but it just feels a little clustered. Um, I feel like it's a little too closed off at some points. Um, but overall, it's gonna be it's a good map, and that's why it's gonna take the three spot. Okay, guys, and coming in for two spot is going to be Hunted. Um, this map is actually one of my team's favorite maps to play. And uh, when I was, you know, give, having them give me advice on what I should look for when I was getting these, um, putting this list together, they were saying these are some of the maps that we like to do. They were telling me to look at the different game modes that we play. So we play a lot of Search and Destroy, we play a lot of Domination, and we play a lot of Team Deathmatch. Now, all these game modes are great for Search and Destroy, or for Hunted, as well as Hardpoint. We don't play as much Hardpoint, but Hardpoint is a really good game mode. Um... And that's why this map is coming in at number two is because it's one of the one of the two really well-rounded maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 that you can play multiple different styles and game modes on. So that's going to be number two. And coming in at the number one spot is going to be my map that is a non-DLC map, and that is Fringe. Fringe is one of those maps that you can go just about anywhere on the map. It is not heavy to one side of the map. Um, normally, when I used to play Black Ops 2, I would never go down the middle of the map. But in Black Ops 3 with Fringe and a couple of other maps, I love going down the middle because it's, you know, not very many people, um, you know, want to gang up and go down the middle. It's always, um, it's a well, it's evenly placed with the three different lanes. And that's what I love about this map being my favorite 
this is just like my actual favorite map out of all of all time uh, which is um, standoff from black ops 2 which you'll see in my DLC review top 5 um, next week um, but I just love the placement of the bombs when you're playing search and destroy I love the placement of the flags when you're playing um, uh, when you're playing domination and then when you're playing free-for-all in TDM you have you're not it's not too small to where you're you're getting spawn trapped and you're you're running into a ton of enemies but it's big enough to where you can breathe and you can run around you can still engage in a lot of gunfights and you can have a overall really well experience um, but the whole map is just really well rounded I love the aesthetics of the map I love you know the versatility of the map because you can play with a sniper you can play with an assault rifle or you can play with a submachine gun which I find myself doing a lot playing with all three of those you could even play with an LMG in this map I've been killed a ton of times with an LMG in this map especially the R70 Ajax so that's why this is gonna be my top spot in my countdown and I have it that's gonna be my top five non DLC maps for black ops 3 uh, leave a comment in the comment section what you um, think of my top five leave a comment in the comment section what your top five will be and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe um, if you enjoy my content I'd love to see you stick around and as always see you guys on the next video